Hi guys, I wanted to show you my new freezer. Um, I made a promise to myself a few years ago that I would never buy anything brand new again as far as furniture and appliances and that su such. Um, reason being is things just aren't made as well now as they used to be. And secondly, I can get it so much cheaper used from someone else who just wants to remodel or, um, you know, just change their style. And so I, I just won't buy new. I will look for used ads and the buy sell trade, you know, locally on Facebook is a good place to find things. I go to antique stores for furniture and um, estate sales and things like that. And curbside is a really good place to find a lot of things too. Um, my husband works a job where he's kind of out in the streets and he sees a lot of things just sitting on the curb and he'll go back after work and go get them. And so we actually help my mother furnish an entire house by doing that, just, you know, picking things up. Anyway, Back to my new freezer. This is a stand-up freezer, and I had a um, just a floor chest size, just a small one, and it was full, and I couldn't fit all the things that I was finding in it, and so we just moved that to a different location. This is just my laundry room, which is why you'll see some things needing to be washed down there on the floor, <laughs> and. Um, so I put that, the chest freezer in a different location. I got this stand-up one. And you can see it's actually a digital one. And I got it for only $100. And this is what I wanna show you. So my, my chest freezer is completely full. And um, what it has in it is the fresh stuff that I um, just kind of blanched and put in freezer bags. And then this one, is the packaged and, and uh, processed foods. And so the next two days, today and tomorrow, are our hottest days in our area. And um, so I'm not going out because it's really, really hot. And to be honest, I just don't need anything. You can see the snacks we've still got there. Um, we have chips, we've got salad dressing, we've got fresh vegetables, both in the fridge, the freezer upstairs, the chest freezer, and now this. All of our cabinets are full. I have got totes and boxes in the basement stored of snacks and candy and soda and juice, you name it, it's in there. So there's those tortillas we just found. You'll recognize these things from my videos. There's the, the Kool-Aid and the ice pops. There's the donuts. There's the avocado spreads. There's the non bread. That's some um, um, packaged rolls. Bam. There's cheese. That was from my very, very first um, outing three months ago still got that um, there's donuts this um, pudding rice pudding that's from my very very first um, outing three months ago there's still those cheese sticks all of these sandwich meats sausages um, there's the frozen um, garlic bread, more sandwich meats. Do you all remember that? I think it was three or four boxes of um, ham. And I've still got half a box. Uh, I got that like my first month. And I gave uh, several boxes away and we kept one for ourselves. And I actually had to store most of that box at a friend's house until I got this freezer. We've still got half a box and then added all of this bologna and ham and, and uh, turkey and sausage to it. Now, we were vegan 
at our house before. There's a, that big ham, and we'll put that aside, you know, for Thanksgiving or whatever. Uh, we were vegan at our house before I started dumpster diving, and we're very much freegan now. My son and daughter were not vegan, but they were not allowed to eat meat or cheese inside the house. And um, now, of course, we've got all this, so they can have it. I still will not bring home any meats that are not cooked because just the thought of raw meat um, on my cookware and counters and, and all of that is just more than I can handle. Um, so this is all there and you know they can have it whenever they want they just defrost it and they can have it and um, hubby has even started taking some of this meat with him for his lunches and I'm still sticking with my veggies and fruit <laughs> um, I tried it a couple of times you know I had a couple sandwiches just because we were on an outing a vacation day we'll, we'll take a day trip and just go somewhere and be gone all all day and um, so I had sandwiches that day, but really I'm, I'm not eating it. Um, I'm leaving it for the family and that's good, that's fine. And this right here, I don't know if you can tell, but this is what's left of the pineapple, pineapple chunks. Remember when I got all those pineapples and I cut them up right away and stuck them in the freezer? My daughter's been using them for smoothies, so that's a bag there. And I think upstairs she's got another bag full of pineapple and uh, strawberries and bananas and she just pulls them out and makes smoothies for her and her friends when they stay over. So um, you can see this freezer is full. My other freezer is full. My refrigerator and the top of my refrigerator in that freezer is full and like I said everywhere everywhere. So anything that I gather right now I've got to be able to give away which I can do, you know, I can give that to the families that I give to. I can't do very much um, in the way of processed foods for the um, homeless shelter and the women's shelter because um, they won't take stuff that's out of date. But I can take fresh stuff that's still good to them and I do that quite a bit. That's the kind of foods that I take to them because most of this stuff that I find like this, you know, will go out of date and we'll still eat it. It's still good, but I can't donate it. So just wanted you to know what's going on over at the Turner house. I'm not dumpster diving in the next couple of days because I don't need anything. And um, it's really, really hot. So if I'm gonna go out just to give to other people, it's gotta be a little more convenient for me. Not to be selfish, I don't wanna mean, you know, sound selfish, but um, yeah, just, Keep me in mind. I don't want to leave you with no videos just because I'm not going out because, you know, I've been addicted to videos and I know what that feels like and you got to feed the addiction, right? <laughs> All right. Have a good day, guys.